Hey guys, okay, uh, so this is gonna be the first video in a series probably um, on the IQMS 362 masonry saw. And I just wanted to make a series of videos because there's not a whole lot out there of actual contractors using this saw. So there's a whole bunch of stuff from IQ and there's stuff from Pave Tool and everything, everybody talking about it, but these guys are selling it, so uh, they're obviously gonna have really good reviews on it. So I've only seen one video so far of uh, somebody using it that uh, is a contractor. He's out in BC, I can't think of the name, but it's a good video. He's cutting veneer stone, pavers, that type of thing. And anyway, we decided to pick it up. We do uh, mostly interlocking, retaining walls, hardscaping, that type of thing. So uh, that's what we got it for. Uh, and the biggest thing is it's dustless. So when we're in a small backyard, uh, something like that, uh, it cuts down the dust almost 100%, which is great. Um, so this is the first one that we've purchased, uh, may purchase another one, um, but I'm going to, right now we're going to do the assembly of it and then I'm going to do like kind of first impressions, that type of thing. And then following videos, we'll be actually using this on a job site. We might cut one, one stone today just to see, but, uh, uh, we'll do videos on a job site and then we'll do a video like a month later about, you know, how it's working, that type of thing, how the blades wearing and all that. So. Uh, if you guys have questions, let me know because I know I had questions about it, uh, little things here and there. So if there's questions, let me know and I'll try to add them into the next video because I know a lot of hardscapers are, are looking at this saw or have this saw or whatever. Um, so yeah, we're going to get to it. We're going to start assembling this thing. Uh, I haven't even looked at the manual so I don't know exactly what's going on but uh, we'll figure it out. Looks like the table extension. Okay, it looks like about it.
Okay, so there it is out of the box. Uh, got the manual open here. So that's what you need. Uh, got a 19 millimeter socket, wrench, and screwdriver. Uh, okay, so I guess step one, which I saw these little tags on the side, we're gonna move these screws. Oh, and this uh, this little wrench here is actually right there. This is on the head of the saw. Pull that out. So we'll use that to take these uh, these screws out. Okay, so you got to remove this screw. It must be just for shipping. And same on the other side, it's in the same place on the other side. And then you've got to move this, okay. So you gotta move this whole assembly. So that this hole lines up with this notch in the frame. I just wanna see what's going on under there. Okay. Okay, I think we can stand it up now. Cool. Okay, and we'll put the tires on now.
Okay, so I guess we'll mount the motor now. washers. Okay, put the table extender thingy on. Goes in here. And then these two screws that were in the bag with the tire bolts go onto it. Okay, we'll put the table on. Okay, so yeah, this little tab has to be in this position to remove table. here. Okay and then the final item is this handle and it uses these two little black screws to hold it in.
Okay, we just gotta connect these hoses. One on there. And this one here. Okay, and then we just gotta connect this vacuum plug to this switch lead. And then we'll put the blade on. Okay, here we go, blade going on. Uh, so it has, for those of you that don't know, it has a proprietary Q-Drive blade and arbor. So you pretty much have to use their blades. Uh, so there is probably a way around it and where I'm gonna figure it out if it's possible. Um, but honestly, for the price, I think this blade Canada is like about three, it's 250 US, so it's approximately 320 to 335 dollars Canadian. Which is kind of pricey, it's not too bad. Like I think the same, a 16 inch blade for the wet saw is about 200 Canadian. So it's a hundred and some dollars more, but I think for, for, the, for what you're getting, it, it's not a bad deal. Um, so this is, this is actually just a one inch uh, hole and then they've, they've kind of notched out the Q drive part of it there. So, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could probably use a different 16 inch blade, but I, I wouldn't recommend it and definitely the company doesn't recommend it. Um, let's just see here what the tooth thickness is. So you got 0 .1, 0 0.140, which is the standard thickness of a, of a diamond 16 inch blade. And then exactly 16 and 5 eighths uh, diameter. So, but the thing is the segments are different. So the way it delivers the dust into the, into the suction system and in here, you can see it's a little different from a, a standard blade. So these aren't perfectly square. Uh, it's got this notch here, which I'm sure has some effect on dust collection, that type of thing. So these little differences are, are probably huge. So let's get that on. I think we're going to have to raise this. And with the writing facing out. Okay, and then the, to stop the blade from spinning while you tighten it, there's a little black knob, just push it in catches and put this fairly tight okay. make sure it spins freely and here's some rubbing See if it's still rubbing once we get this on.
Okay, and I think that's pretty much it. So we'll plug it in, see how it runs, and then uh, go grab a block and we'll do a test cut. Okay, we'll plug it in and we need to make the first cut down through here with the new blade. So they give you this adapter because uh, it's a 20 amp plug. And this goes from 20 to 15 amp, but we're plugging it in in the shop here to a uh, 20 amp plug. So we'll just plug it in like this. Okay, so it leaves a little bit of a burr there. We'll uh, see if we can get some of that cleaned off. Oh yeah, okay. Just gotta knock it off. Okay, so we'll do that for each one, and yeah, there's a nice slot to start there. Okay, so first cut, we're gonna cut this two inch paver here. See how it goes. Wow, that works very well. Uh, so yeah, we're inside the closed shop here and there's pretty much zero dust. I can smell, I can smell just a little tiny bit of dust. Um, just that, that classic smell. But uh, yeah, if you're outside, this would be, it's pretty much no dust. So we'll see from that one cut how much, uh, how much it made. We'll spin this a little bit. And a lot of dust just from one cut. It's pretty amazing. You don't realize when you're cutting with a like an old an old school saw how much is actually being thrown into the air.
Okay, guys, so yeah, uh, any other questions, let me know. But we're going to be bringing this out onto the job site tomorrow. Um, so we'll see if it acts the same way after, I don't know, 5,000 cuts.